We've talked a lot about the burnout coming out of the COVID pandemic, and it's not just nurses or doctors. The number of EMT workers also on the decline right now. This is also affecting the number of people going to school to become an EMT. KMX Claudia Puente has more on this tonight. We have definitely, definitely seen a drop in students. Shortages have affected everyone across the nation, but here in the South Plains, EMS providers have been hard to find. Obviously, the recent pandemic has increased the burnout. Um, they're required to work longer hours to fill the gaps. The South Plains College instead has worked to adapt and overcome these shortages. We had to find innovative ways to reach the students. Um, one way that we did that was going with all the didactic, all the book work and the lectures online in a live manner where the instructors are sitting in front of the students, but the students are in the comfort of their own, own home. And these changes are not only in the classroom, but on the field. EMS has grown as far as where they can work. Ten years ago, you worked in a helicopter on an ambulance. Now you have the option to work in hospitals and clinics. So there's a lot more opportunities, which are taking the providers out of the trucks and putting them in different, different settings. And it doesn't stop there. We've actually seen a rise in the salary, which has been an issue for a while. I don't feel like it's quite where it needs to be, but it's definitely moving in the right direction. And a lot of organizations are taking innovative approaches as far as scheduling. Claudia Puente, KMAC News.